hey folks, BC7 here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Farm Sim 17. So I'm uh, logged into the server here, in a uh, early in the day, well, early in the day I suppose as far as real life, and I'm here to kind of, sort of, uh, well, play a little tricky. <laughs> I'm a new... Uh, I'm going to plant one of the fields here, close to the farm, with poplars. And uh, it's, a, it's a new crop to Farm Sim 17, not one that a lot of people have paid attention to. And for just that reason, yes indeed, I'm going to put a whole crop of them in, right where they're good and obvious. Now I'm going to buy the header for the forage harvester that will harvest them. I'm just going to leave that at the store, and we'll see how everybody does. So... Let's see here. Make sure I don't pick a field that's actually uh, already planted with something. So, growth states. Okay. Uh, so it looks like... Yeah, it looks like 19 will do. Yeah, there's nothing there. Although this isn't... Ah, uh, there we are. I think it's starting to catch up. There we go. Now the map is actually properly loaded. Okay, and there's not... I've noticed that when I come in. It takes a little while. It looks terrible. It looks like they've been... Like you've just been mistreating your fields all the heck parts of it are harvested parts of it are plowed it just it eventually sorts itself out so yeah i think we'll do uh we'll do this field so all right let's lower it and let's crank it up anything else i need to do Lift, stop, turn off. No, that looks good. Really, you can hire a worker to do this? Oh, you can? There we go, look at that. So yeah, it's kind of an interesting thing. Um, hmm. Kind of a slow process. Interesting. <laughs> Lovely. Now I just gotta hope he finishes before anybody else shows up. <laughs> now let's uh, let's go to the shop, and it's under forage harvest headers. Ah, here it is. Yes, please. Okay. Now I really, really hope. But that will fit any of the forage harvesters. Um, oh, they are now a separate category. My apologies. So yeah, that's designed for this guy, the FR850. I just noticed that these have slightly different connectors on the front. Hmm. Well, I'm going to make it really easy. Whoa. I don't want that silly thing. What would I want with that? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Go away. Last thing I want to do is be buying two of those. Alrighty. Now. Wow. Look at all the spadatos. Woohoo. That's something. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to deal with these. Oh, these are sugar beets. Oh my goodness. And let me guess. Nope, that's got sugar beets as well. As does that. Okay. Okie dokie. Hmm. Alright, well, um,. Exit this thing. It's 
kind of all cocked over on its side. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Are you leaving, little buddy? There you go. Oh, that's well stuck in there. There we go. Hmm. Does this not fold up or, well, pipe in? That might help. There we go. Don't know why that wasn't simply done to start with. There we are. That's a little better. Now, what do we got here? Oh, you've got the corn header on you. Alrighty. Well, how about this guy? A lot you got going on. I don't think you've even got a corn header, do you? Well, there's your header. It's around the wrong way, but that's all right. done the third fertilizing on this other field so just this morning when I logged in a little earlier so it is good and ready I believe it's soybean so we might as well do some of that whilst we wait I do hope everybody's doing well the uh, little issue I had yesterday with uh, Giants releasing a patch and Steam not coming up with it in a very timely manner it was actually straightened out well, well before midday, so it was not that big a deal for all the uh, whining and screaming that was going on about it. Um, yeah, it just in the end wasn't really that big a deal. I don't think we had much in the way of downtime. So that was an alrighty. We can do a little better than that, eh? Oops. Huh. That's deceiving. That really looked like it was... Uh, really looked like that was past that edge. Hmm. I guess I get so used to using the uh, GPS, I don't know where the heck I am anymore. <laughs> oh, boy, that is a... Slow go with that poplar planting, isn't it? Wow. And that uh, that vulture that I use for my tractor, that's not slouch. She's got a good bit of poot behind her. <laughs> oh, well. This should be pretty good. When I'm done harvesting this field, I'll go over and uh, maybe grab that thing, park it somewhere. <laughs> the forage harvester. Took it away. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back and check my videos because I don't, uh, I'm not sure if our pigs have been breeding or if someone bought some more, <laughs> but it, uh, I don't think we had as many as we have now, so I'm not sure how long the cycle is. Well, I suppose actually though, that is something that you can check, isn't it? Yeah, 
the problem is I don't really want to open the screen in case I'm on the page that uh, oh no we're on the map page aren't we yes okay so we can actually sneak through here uh, let's see see we got 29 pigs next animal in five hours an hour 21 well maybe they have you know maybe they just uh, have been reproducing it's just 29 pigs I don't know that just seems a bit a bit odd you know <laughs> doesn't sound like the number I would have come up with. Let's just put it that way. He's still going. He is still going. This isn't a bad piece of kit, this little fent. Certainly seems to get the job done. Yeah, I finally figured out uh, with the account thing, which was something that, again, I don't think the Giants did anything about uh, fixing that. They seem to think it works fine. Um, basically, what happens, though, if, uh, if a player has money when they're on the server, for whatever reason, I mean, maybe we've sold some crops because that gets split amongst everybody, or maybe you just gave them some money to do something or whatever. But whenever a player leaves the server, the money that they have is gone. But it doesn't just disappear. In fact, it goes back into the admin account. Which is why, even though I've only used the money mod to bring one initial 10 mil in, um, we have $32 million in the account. And that's basically, I guess like a running bank account for the server <laughs> you know and uh i'm thinking maybe when we hit 100 mil that uh we'll either reset the map or find another one we'll see how it goes but so far in the first uh that's what we've made in approximately the first week uh in fact when this video goes up it'll be sunday so that will be exactly one week so there you go it's uh, six days now and we managed to pull that in. So it should be less than a month and we'll uh, clear our hundred million. And then I'll have to think of something to do. <laughs> yes, plant every field in poplars. <laughs> Get one forage wagon. <laughs> one trailer. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see. I've noticed that uh, a couple of maps are working their way onto the modding scene. Although, in all honesty, what I've seen so far, um, eh, not terribly impressive. I know TBF is doing a modded map, and there's certainly a few issues with it. Um, and I'm thinking it's because right now there is sort of a push on to be the first one out there with a properly modded map for 2017. You know, it's likely to become a fairly popular map if it's done well. But, uh, yeah. I haven't seen it yet. But we'll, uh, we'll keep our eyes open, see how things go. Boy, oh boy, dude, that is going to take forever to do that field. Wow. And I believe what you harvest is wood chips. <laughs> so that should be, uh, that should be interesting. But we'll see how the, uh, how the gang deals with it. <laughs> ah, I didn't know it was going to take them all day to plant it, though, either. Oh, look. He's, uh, taking two bucks a tick. You know the hired workers usually take a buck a tick? 36, 34, 32, 30. <laughs> Greedy buggers. Go and mention you got 32 mil in the bank, and next thing you're, oh, I think I'll have me a little raise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, 100% bad should be a good dude. Uh huh. You betcha. It's the kind of raise we'd all like.
I don't know why there's uh, seems we're planting an awful lot of soybean. I'm not sure why that is. I'd actually like to see a crop of sunflowers. Nobody's done sunflower yet. So maybe I'll uh, replace this field in sunflower. Don't know. With the uh, plow thing on and being a multiplayer server, you got to kind of keep an eye too as to how many times fields get harvested. And naturally, the ones close to the farm are going to get harvested more often than uh, the ones that are not so close. So we'll have to see how that goes. I'm not sure. Uh, let's have a little look here. Um, yeah, there's a few fields that we own that do require plowing. 15, 20, 21, those are relatively new purchases. 22 hasn't been worked yet. 24 and 27 have. So, cool. Carry on, lad. How's he doing? Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's going to take a while. Probably longer than I'm going to be doing this episode anyway. But yeah, it's um, still really happy with the uh, server service. If any of you are looking to uh, get yourself a server, not just necessarily for farm sim, but pretty much any of them, um, I've had pretty good luck so far with GameServers.com. They seem to, uh, you know, uh, the uh, patch for the patch for Farm Sim 17 was up long before Steam got it, so they were ready as soon as it was released. And uh, But they don't auto-patch, which is kind of nice. I like that. Uh, I mean, there may be a feature where I can turn auto-patching on, but to be honest with you, I just assume not at the moment. Because it is kind of nice to look at it and go, okay, you know. Yeah, we want that one, or, you know, you go on the Steam forum and they go, oh my god, and ever since the patch, no one can start the game. Then you go, well, maybe I'll just not patch it. So, But yeah, GameServers.com, at this point I can uh, highly recommend them. As you can see by my mini-map there, now granted I'm pretty close to the server, but uh, I get an incredible ping. And considering I have an antique ISP, basically. Um, I said I'm pretty sure they haven't changed their kit since the mid-80s. That's uh, pretty impressive. And that's constant. I've never had it, you know, spike up to the point of rubber banding or anything else. There is a little bit of an issue, but we're... Everyone's pretty much uh, of the same opinion that it's actually a thing on this map. Right over... Um, where the gas pumps are on the farm there yeah it's a little bit weird if you get in and out of a tractor or a piece of kit whoops we're full okay uh in that area there we go sure oh no not the lizard pickup <laughs> But the Deutz will do. But yeah, if you get out of a tractor in that area, it tends to uh, do weird things. Like you'll step out of your tractor and you'll look and you'll be 30 feet away. Right over here in this area. This is where I used to have the pressure washer too. So I took that out because apparently people were having issues with that. Um, it was not working on some parts and working on others and just kind of odd so there's something a little bit weird about that corner on the map but that's fine what do we got here me he needs a tipper and i see there's a couple here so yeah i know on multiplayer you wouldn't think you'd have to empty your own trailer <laughs> or empty your own harvester but that said, I'm on here. This is specifically a time that I know um, is usually empty on the server. So, like I said, I wanted to come on and do that. I had no idea it was going to take hours. <laughs> so, not quite so sneaky, is it? Alrighty. So 
hope I left enough room because of course we do have crop destruction on and nobody's complained about it yet oops 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 gotta be a little more careful there we go there we go He's got a pretty decent sized grain on him, eh? Should all drain away. Bye. That's a deep tank. Holy, there we go. Twelve thousand five hundred. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oops, guess what held. I didn't realize I'd turned it off. Seems an odd thing to do. Well, let's get her cranked back up. There we go. And we're back in business. How you doing over there, man? Oh, I'm not anywhere near him, am I? <laughs> Wrong field. It's almost shocking to harvest a field without GPS. <laughs> Running a lot of missions on my single player map, so. Been making goodly use of the GPS mod. Oh, a wonderful little animal. But one of the reasons I included it on the server. And I've seen a few people have been using it. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. How are we doing on poplars, dude? 100%. Why would you still have 100%? Hmm? Oh. That's just painful. <laughs> Wow, look at it, it's barely moving, help her eye, yikes, oh, it's gonna be a while, I had no idea it was so slow. Yeah, I think I'm gonna run sunflowers in this field next, uh, I don't know if we have a sunflower header though, I might have to get one. Just might have to. Like I said, first of all, let's try and get this done. Wow. <laughs> and he makes another row. exactly the brightest, nicest day out here either, is it? Look at that. Gray skies all the way to the horizon. Tittable, tittable. Just tittable. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. close I actually am. To do 90 degree flip. Uh. It's not bad. These are not bad.
What are you doing? Oh, goody. Oh, Dexter's climbing the back of my chair. What are you doing, you little nut bar? Yeah. But you don't even think about it, laddie. If you climb on my head, we're going to have issues, dude. Good lord, kitty. And you're going to do it, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, he's one rambunctious little boy, this thing. How's he doing? What are you doing, buddy? Huh? Oh, you're going to leap to the bed. Oh, good jump, man. <laughs> What a little idiot. Oh boy. I'm just glad that my chair comes up higher than my head. You'd probably spent the vast part of it climbing up the back of me skull. What are you doing now? Well, swatting drops of water on the window. Good kitty. <laughs> I guess his sister's sleeping, so he's bored. <laughs> That's uh, quite the animation. A big slow progression down the uh, down the header, and then it gets to that center piece, and just blah, 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 the way it goes. Very cool. <laughs> do 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 do. Geez, that guy's close enough. If I put this out, will I actually be able to reach him? Probably. Yeah. That'll be a good trick. Indeed. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking he's going to be a wee bit out of range. Oh well. It was a thought. These are proportions on the tractor, that particular tractor and trailer. Nope, we weren't close enough. Okay. Almost, uh, remind me when something's supposed to be in widescreen, but it's not until you switch it. <laughs> or the old, uh, well, I don't know if you guys would even remember when movies were filmed in Panavision. <coughs> and for some reason, they'd always start the movie, and then you you could actually see where they rotate the lens 90 degrees, so things go from tall and thin to normal size. Yeah, it was really weird. I don't know why they always, I think it was to show off what Panavision actually did. It was sort of the original widescreen of movies. <laughs> yeah, you guys are going eight tracks, what? <laughs> oh, I tell you, it's hard to be an antique. Alrighty. Well, I'm, uh, what is that? kind of surprised that's going to take uh, oh probably the better part of the day to put poplars down in that field I hope we get a really good return off it I'll tell you because man that's a fair bit of work out there and I still don't get why it says we've got 100% uh, poplar you better be planting them trees boy don't tell me I'm wasting my time because I can see you're doing something briskly moving along is not it, but you're doing something. Hmm. Well, well, well. Do, do, do. Yeah, see, it just, I don't know why that is this time, but it really looks like, uh, you know, you got another two feet or three feet of header that you can slide towards the crop. But that's right on the very, very edge. Huh. Odd. It's really hard to tell. Hmm. Don't know why that is. I can't see what they've really changed. See what I mean? Like, or not, it looked like it was on that first bar. Or first little sort of rotating X thing there. Yeah. But obviously it's not. It's right where it should be. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, I'm getting filled up again here. Oh, well. Hopefully we'll make the end of the row so I can get them turned around. Don't have to back them out so that we don't end up driving onto croppage. <coughs> Excuse me. 
gets me. What's up, Dexter? Are you bored? Poor kitty. Fire the old pipe out. There we go. There we go. See? <laughs> that's what I mean about getting flung. Apparently that's not the only place that happens. Wow. That was quite the flingage. Indeed. Um, how about if I just do this? That's so much easier. I like that, by the way. What they've done with the map, brilliant. Just brilliant. And the big 9 series dots. Heck of a tractor, this thing. Very, very nice. I mean, he's got a fair bit of weight on the back, and no problem. We're going to spin her up to 60k and just cruise. There we go. Huh, and again. <laughs> Gives me a little fling. Yeah, that's a heck of a beast, that thing. Do, 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 do. Well done. How you doing over there? Ooh. It's kind of weird. The graphics almost make it look like he skipped a huge section and then started again. Hmm. Odd. I wonder if maybe it does work that way. They put down so many rows and then they move over and put down so many rows and move over. And... No idea. Like I said, what's got me really curious is why that poplar count has not gone down at all. Yeah, T-Series PL75. Well, yeah. That's my tractor. That's the cedar. And then Poplar at 100%. Hmm. Probably a feature. I, I mean a bug. Uh, I mean a feature. Yeah. <coughs> but he is still taking our hard-earned money. So let's hope he's earning it. <laughs> yes, indeed. Hmm. But I think, guys, that's probably going to be good for this episode. Maybe not the most exciting one, but, uh, yeah, definitely something interesting going on here. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to finish harvesting this field, and then, uh, well, likely come up with something else to do while I still wait upon the poplar planter to plant its popular poplars. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Hope you all enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to do the shares and the favorites and all of that. It really helps out. And the uh, the like button is a pretty simple function, so check it out. Never know. You might like it. <laughs> all right, guys. This has been Species 7 for Sosnovka, our multiplayer server. Take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now. <laughs>